Go as far as you can see. Don't complain, I can't see the way. The little part you can see, go as far as you can see. When you get there, you will see further. Don't say, I do not seem to know how this will end. Just start with faith. Go on in faith. Do you know that Israel left Egypt with livestock? They left Egypt with animals. They left Egypt with enough to eat and feed. And yet, they keep complaining. The problem of Israelites was not lack of food. It was lack of faith. They could have eaten what they had. But they, have, they found every reason to complain. Look. I'm excited to welcome you to Tunde Fumi YouTube channel. We ask that you please subscribe to our channel for inspirational songs, powerful messages, and content that will bless you. Please do subscribe and you will never remain the same again. God bless you. We are welcome to day two of our prayer program for this time. We we'll start by reading Exodus chapter 15, verse 24. Exodus 15, verse 24. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? Here are the Israelites in their faithlessness, they displayed unfaithfulness. You see, it takes faith to be faithful. If they have had enough faith in God, they wouldn't have been complaining, grumbling, mumbling against God, mumbling against Moses. You see, the secret is it takes faith to the faithful. And the people murmured against Moses. In chapter 16, verse 2, Exodus 16, verse 2, and the whole congregation, no exception, and the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. They were murmuring against God. They were murmuring against God's representative. They were murmuring against their God-sent leaders. Why did they murmur? They have no faith. Some people thought that the problem of Israel was that they did not have food, or they did not have drink. Somebody said, Do you know that Israel left Egypt with livestock? They left Egypt with animals. They left Egypt with enough to eat and feed. And yet, they keep complaining. The problem of Israelites was not lack of food. It was lack of faith. They could have eaten what they had. But they, have, they found every reason to complain. Look at it in verse 3. Exodus chapter 16 verse 3. And the children of Israel said unto them, Who to God that we have died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt. They were assuming that God wanted to kill them. Faithlessness. They complained because of their lack of faith. When we sat by the fresh flesh pot. And when we did eat bread to the full, they were they said in captivity we ate bread to the full. That was a lie. They were saying we did not have meat to eat. Israel, you have livestock, you have animals. If you really needed to eat meat, you could have eaten of the animals you were taking care of. You could have eaten of the animals you took. Even Moses said we will not leave an oof of any of our animals in. Egypt, meaning that they took their animals along. Why then were they complaining? They needed food, they needed what to eat. The problem is they had no faith. So if you saw Israel grumble, if you saw Israel complain, they had no faith. Why do people complain today? Why do people murmur today? Lack of faith, not lack of food. Look at it. The topic for today is don't murmur. Move on. This is not the year. This is not the month. This is not the time to murmur. Don't murmur. Move on. Because if you murmur, it may destroy you in the wilderness of life, in the journey of life. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10, it says, Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured. Don't murmur. Move on. And then it said, 
and were destroyed of the destroyer. If you don't want the enemy to destroy you, if you don't want the destroyer to destroy you, don't murmur. And so, as we go on in this series, the instruction of God to us is, don't murmur, move on. Look at, in Exodus chapter 14, Exodus 14, I read verse 15. And the Lord said unto Moses, why criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. And the Lord asked me to speak to you, children of God. Go forward. This is not the year to murmur. Don't murmur. Move on. Go forward. Listen to me. Go as far as you can see. Don't complain. I can't see the way. The little part you can see. Go as far as you can see. When you get there, you will see further. Don't say, I do not seem to know how this will end. Just start with faith. Go on in faith. Go as far as you can see. When you get there, before you even get there, you will see further. This year, don't mama. This month, don't mama. Go forward into your glorious future. And the Lord will fulfill all his purpose for your life. Let's pray as we land up this. Join me again tomorrow as we pray now. Having the faith that God will fulfill his purpose for your life. Don't mama. Move on. Go forward into your glorious future. Father, we are coming with this instruction that you have given us. I pray that this command not to complain, this command not to murmur, this command not to grumble. Because the Bible says, do all things without grumbling and murmuring. Lord, I pray, help us to complain not, but to comply with your instruction in Jesus' name. We will not murmur. We will move on in faith, going forward into our glorious future with faith, with faithfulness. We will become all you want us to become. I pray for my friends out there, for believers out there, to hold on in faith, to do all we need to do, to hold on faithfully to your word, and we will not grumble. We will have faith. Move forward. Look ahead. And our future will be beautifully blessed in Jesus' name. Welcome into your glorious future. Again, don't murmur. No matter what you see around you, don't complain. Move forward. Go ahead into your glorious future with faith and faithfulness to the Lord. This year, this month, will be wonderful for you with faith. Go forward. God bless you. Join me again tomorrow.